Mars is the fourth planet in our solar system and is smaller and much cooler than the Earth. It is known as the Red Planet due to the rusty red dust that sweeps around what remains of its thin atmosphere. Due to its distance from the Sun and its smaller size, Mars's core cooled and in turn stopped spinning. This affected the whole planet by removing the magnetic field, allowing solar wind to rip away the gases in the Martian atmosphere. The planet is now freezing at minus 60 degrees Celsius, and any water that was left over once the water vapour was swept away into space has now turned to ice and is covered in a layer of reddish dust. The rusty red colour is iron oxide, and just like the rust that forms on Earth, the iron oxidises in the presence of water, leading scientists to believe that the red planet may once have been blue, similar to the Earth. With Mars being much smaller and less dense than the Earth, if you were to walk on the surface, you would be able to jump much higher than you can on Earth. Mars is home to Olympus Mons, which is the largest volcano in our solar system, at 13 miles high and 372 miles in diameter. While the volcano is billions of years old, some of the lava flows indicate that it has erupted fairly recently, and could still be active. As it has several hundreds or thousands of years in between each eruption, that makes it similar to a few volcanoes here on Earth. Mars has been the target for many Earth missions to visit other planets, and has seen the most success in landing and operating landers and rovers on the Martian surface. The most recent was the Curiosity rover. It's around the size of a small car, and has been roaming around Mars looking for signs of life since 2012. In the time it's been there, it's only travelled 14 and a half miles. It has to move slowly, as we are giving it instructions to follow, but it takes between 3 and 20 minutes to get a signal to Mars, and the same for it to send images back. It's not always possible to know exactly what the terrain will be like, so keeping it moving slowly reduces the chances of it becoming damaged.